Hello, Barbarians, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we are going to be doing the Chapter 2 Prologue, A Path Through the Storm. You share your feelings with Paimon before embarking on the next phase of your journey. Taking the view outside of Liyue Harbor to collect your thoughts. It has been such an amazing ride here in Liyue. The quests have been phenomenal the story really has progressed and amped up it has answered a lot of questions that we have had but also created questions in doing so so let's do this quest i believe this should be one of the final ones before heading to inazuma Man, what a wild, wild ride it has been. So many twists and turns. I love this game. Paimon never imagined your sister would have sided with the abyss. I still can't accept it. Well, keep your chin up. Paimon believes in both of you. And when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Right? Yeah. You're right. She said we needed to reach the end of our journey. Paimon bets she still has lots more to tell us. And we won't find out what this journey is or where it will end unless we keep going. I'm glad to have you as a guide, Paimon. <laughs> then Paimon will be sure to keep up the good work. <laughs> oh, I love Paimon. She is just so awesome. I still need to find that god. Oh, you mean the god that took your sister away in the first place? Yeah, but now that I think about it, maybe she didn't actually take my sister away. Maybe they were working together the whole time. You're right. After all, everything that followed, all this confusion, it all started with her. Yeah. I need answers. Yeah. Paimon bet she's the key to understanding this whole mystery. We've ruled out two gods so far, the Animo and Geo Archons. So, next... Let's find the Electro Archon. Hmm. Paimon doesn't think we can simply walk into Inazuma. Zhang Li said it was a closed nation. Oh, yeah. We'll have to find some other way in. Hmm. How the heck are we going to do that? <gasps> Why don't we ask someone from Inazuma how to gain entrance? Okay. Uh, let me try and think of someone. Okay. Let's see what she has to say. All right, cool. Atsuko. Ah! I just got hit by lightning. Autumn winds and scarlet leaves. Okay, so let's go and find Atsuko. Are we actually going to Inazuma today? I didn't think that there was going to be, like, a full-blown quest. I thought we were just going to reflect a little bit. Go go over the information that has happened, because a lot, a lot has happened. <laughs> Lee Away for sure is the turning point where it, it's it really kind of shows where we are heading in our journey. But, but there is still going to be a ton of of twists and turns moments we don't realize that are coming and I am really excited about it. I am really excited. It has been such an incredible journey so far. We have accomplished so much. You know, dealing with Devalin in Mondstadt, coming here to Liyue and just so much happening. Out of the gate, Rex, quote unquote, dying. Hanging out with Zhang Li and Child. Then the twist with Child. Zhang Li handing over his Gnosis. Hanging out with Dane, learning a, a little bit more about the Traveler's backstory and then finally coming face to face with our sister who is working with the Abyss Order. So much, 
so much has happened. And there's still so much more to see and to do. I ride on wind and cloud alike. Let's see. Where are, where's Atsuko? There you are. Oh, I was looking for you. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, I mean, good fortune, right? <laughs> I'm still learning to talk like a local. <laughs> hello is good. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, actually. We wanted to ask, how do we get into Inazuna? Oh, so that's why you're here. Well, there is a way. How much is it going to cost? Great! We came to the right person! But the chance of success is incredibly small. Like, what's the percentage? Like, 20%, 30%? Ooh, good question. It was in leaving in Azuma that I found out just how dangerous this method truly was. Mm. All I had to rely on was a little wooden raft that I'd put together myself. There was a storm raging ahead of me, and my pursuers were close on my tail. After I'd escaped their clutches, I floated on the open ocean for I don't know how many days. My rations and fresh water supplies soon ran out. Oh my and god! I remember getting to the point where I was sure I'd reached the end. Then I blacked out. Okay, yeah, incredibly small is right. But to my surprise, my journey didn't end there. Oh. Or to put it another way, a new beginning found me. Uh, did someone from Leeway save you? Ah, uh, that's right. I escaped by the skin of my teeth. The fact that I'm even alive to tell the tale must be a sign that the gods were watching over me. What a horrible journey! <laughs> and you set off knowing how dangerous it was? Why? How bad is over in Inazuma? What the heck is going on? Well, because everything is just too restrictive over there. The atmosphere is so stifling. The Kanjo Commission subjects everyone leaving or entering the nation to a protracted approval process and... I felt like I didn't belong there. Oh man, I'm nervous. Kanjo Commission? What's that? Along with the other two commissions, they oversee everything in Inazuma. We usually collectively refer to them as the Tri Commission. I suppose they're equivalent to the eight trades under the Liu Chising. One of the obligations of the Kanjo Commission is to conduct rigorous identity checks on all individuals leaving or entering in Azuma. Oh my god! All non-nationals are processed centrally on Rito upon arrival. Meanwhile, the Tenryo Commission is responsible for implementing the recently promulgated Vision Hunt Decree. They act like the executive arm of the Raiden Shogun's rule. Loyal, yet unfeeling. Yeah, it sounds kind of terrible. It doesn't feel good to speak ill of my home like this. But after spending so long under that oppressive atmosphere, oppressive. I begin to lose That's all the hope word for the future. Oppressive. What I mean to say is, unless you have an extremely compelling reason to go to Inazuma, you should abandon your plans of trying to get there. Well, I have a compelling reason. You should know that the sea around Inazuma is engulfed in a perpetual tempest of wind and rain. Supposing you survived that, you would still need to get past the samurai guards that enforce the Sakoku Decree, the closed nation policy of Inazuma. And even if you did manage to find a way, Jeez. you'd still have to produce the necessary documentation at the Rito Center for processing outlanders. Otherwise, you'd be kicked out immediately. Seems like they really don't want anyone setting foot in Inazuma, huh? But there's a place for Outlanders to go, right? They only set that up as a port to guarantee a supply of goods and information to the island. Most Outlanders would be unable to acquire the documentation needed. But if you really are set on going, there is one thing you could try. Ooh, I'm all ears. Uh, the raft yeah, no, 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 so I'm not doing that. get seasick <laughs> me too that's not what i meant oh you could ask someone from the crux fleet if they have some way of getting you to inazuma the crux well fleet known in Liyue. voyaging far and wide has made them a well-traveled group with a wide range of experiences 
They may just know how to break through the storm. You're right. Pirates sure be no Oh, Beto! Heck yes! Super strong. Yeah, she's gonna bring us to Inazuma? Paima wonders if she'll be willing to take the risk. Well, I mean, it sounds... It seems like our only option. The Alcor is the flagship of the Crux fleet. I heard that it's currently anchored by Guyun Stone Forest on a supply run. This might be your best chance. Oh, yeah, hey, baby. No time to lose. Let's go find Captain Beto. Yep, we gotta go. Okay, I think we are as high as we could possibly get. That's kind of rude that the Geoculus is right out of reach. Here we go. We are gonna board Beto's ship. <laughs> I hope she doesn't get mad that we do it this way. Fingers crossed, she understands. It's actually kind of spooky. It looks like it's floating on nothing. This ship is awesome, though. Ooh. Ooh. I see a couple of treasure chests. We're gonna be like spies. I don't know if they're gonna try and fight me. Oh! Who? Who the heck? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, hi, guys! You're the traveler. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm actually looking for Beto. Looking for the captain? Does she look? Like she's someone you just come looking for as you please. Oi! Someone get over here and tie this stowaway up and feed them to the fishies. What? All right, all right. What's all the ruckus? This troublemaker is snuck in here. I knew it. Said they're looking for, well, they're up to no good, I'll wager. And I thought I would just deal with this for Beto. All right, stop scaring people. Any old how or Captain Beto will scold you upside down. Oh, <laughs> uh, I. All right. Off you go. Cool your head. Now then, traveler, what business might you have with the captain? I would actually like to go to Inazuma. You want to go to Inazuma by ship? Hmm. You'd best see the captain <laughs> herself about this. She's on board right now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I told you. Well, you guys wanted to tie me up and throw me into the ocean. But it seems that she's been deep in thought recently. Keep your eyes open and try not to disturb her. All right, I've got it. Beto, hi. Oh, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Yeah, I dropped in, literally. I knew you guys would come. <laughs> what? How did you know? Paimon. Hmm. What a fascinating being. You two give off not only the essence of wind and earth, but also of... Yes. The stars. Yeah. Huh? The fragrance of what now? That's the weirdest <laughs> fragrance I've ever heard. Do you like it though, Paimon? Pay it no heed. I mean only to say I am certain that it is by fate, not chance alone, that we should meet. And that gives our encounter meaning. Uh, is this guy a bard by any chance? You're not far off, but they go by a different name in Inazuma. Uh, I prefer other means of entertainment. Hmm. This young man is Kaidahara Kazuha. A Kazuha! For reasons I won't bore you with. Occasionally, he opens his mouth and flowers come out instead of words. <laughs> flowers come out instead of words. That's a good one. With this fine ship and the soft sea breeze, would it not be romantically irresponsible <laughs> of me not to acknowledge it with a line or two of poetry? It really is like a bard. <laughs> no, I can't argue with that. Okay, then. Once the clash is underway, I'll give you a chance to perform. Only if the mood takes me, of course. Poetry for poetry's sake tends to lack meaning. Hey, you don't want to pass this opportunity up too easily. Especially seeing as our great hero here might be in attendance. Yeah! Oh, wait, wait what's, what's happening? Uh, also, just to clarify, by great hero, do you mean... Us? Huh? I thought 
thought you might be here to sign up. You're telling me you've never even heard of it? Uh, no. The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I host. What? There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. We want those with real martial arts ability, not just people taking part for the fun of it. So, you've got nothing to worry about there? I don't think there's anyone out there who hasn't heard of you. Two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. Mm. Otherwise, things get a little one-sided. Yep, that is true. I don't have a vision, but... <laughs> you must be feeling confident, but you might want to watch out. There are a few crouching tigers and hidden dragons lurking around in Liyue. And with Liyue's savior taking part in the tournament, now that's going to turn a few heads. I think we can expect a healthy turnout this time. Yeah, but I, 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 I never said that I wanted to join. But we didn't come here to take part in a martial arts tournament. Exactly. Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time round is particularly sought after. Uh, save travel to Inazuma by chance? Get this. It's a masterless vision. Huh? Supplied by myself, as a matter of fact. If the tournament champion can reawaken that vision, it belongs to them. Is there really such thing as a masterless vision? Why doesn't it have a master? When a vision bearer dies, the light in their vision will fade away. But the shell that housed that light remains. As for whether this shell has any practical application, well, this remains to be seen. But my intuition tells me that while it remains in the world, it may just be possible for someone else to inherit it. I like him. Yep. And the way I see it, a vision is a badge of recognition from the gods. So if anyone's able to rekindle it, it's got to be an individual of exceptional strength and talent. Organizing the clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. So, if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. Hmm. To be honest, I'm not interested because a vision is no use to me. Yeah, we're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma? You want to go there? Yeah, we have a couple of questions. Well, why didn't you say so? Inazuma, no sweat. In that case, if you win the tournament, I'll give you a choice. Masterless vision or a ticket to Inazuma aboard the Alcor. Oh, heck okay. yeah. That was easy. You just want him to take part in your tournament. Absolutely, she does. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> the more talent we have, the better the tournament will be. I couldn't let a competitor like you fall through the net. What are we going to do? <sighs> Looks like we pretty much have to do this tournament if we want to get yeah. to Inazuma, huh? Yeah, let's give this a shot. <laughs> Great. Then let's get you signed up. Head to the tournament arena in Guyun Stone Forest. Ooh. Kazuha and I will be over soon. Oh, yeah, baby. We're about to like fight in a fight club. Time before the answer is revealed. Okay, here it is. Here is the arena. Uncle Yoon, how's it going, buddy? Are you here to compete in the Crux Clash? You bet I am. Uh-oh. Have you put your names down yet? Uh, no, not yet. Well, I'd have a look at the entrance criteria if I were you. Then it'll allow just anyone to take part. Oh, we've already got the go-ahead, so we, we actually can. The Clash is a comprehensive test of fighting ability. Anyone who turns up for show over skill is gonna get their butt handed to them. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm joining. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that, right? Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, we heard a rule about that. So, Paimon's wondering, are you a renowned fighter? <laughs> Me? Only a former runner-up in the Tsuhu Rock Freestyle Combat Summit. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, runner-up, huh? Uh-huh. Also, that <laughs> doesn't sound like the most official <laughs> tournament out there. That, uh, it really doesn't. What? You... No, 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 it does. It Nonsense. does. Have you been living under a rock? It's been going on for years. There were plenty of competitors when I took part. How many? Two? Not to mention, I've helped the Millilith catch treasure hoarders before. 
There were two of them trying to escape. I soon sorted them out. <laughs> they tried to sneak past me under the cover of darkness. <laughs> they didn't know what hit them. I planted a left hook on the skinnier one's face and sent him flying. Then the big guy pulled out a knife. Oh yeah? How did you take care of him? I stood my ground, of course. A roundhouse kick sent the blade hurtling into a beam above us. Wow, sounds uh impressive. <laughs> I told you. Unarmed, outnumbered two to one, but you still got the upper hand. Good job, man. I'm scared. I'm not saying I came out completely unscathed, of course. But the fact remains that I did manage to subdue the both of them and hand them over to the Millilith. I received quite the commendation. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. But for us, even four or five treasure hoarders at a time is all in a day's work. <laughs> Oh, keep it down, Paimon. He's impressed. We need to keep that going for him, okay? Well, thanks for letting us know. Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to keep looking around. <laughs> I'll see you in the arena, but I don't plan on losing to a pair of children anytime soon. Ooh, you bet. You're going to really beat our butts. Not. Okay, I mean, there, there really doesn't look like any uh, big-time fighters here. Hi, Chai. What do you have to say for yourself? Hi there. Are you here for the Crux Clash too? That's right. Nothing beats real-life combat for honing your skills. That's what our master taught us. But this tournament is more than just a chance to put training into practice. It's also a chance for us to obtain the masterless vision. Exactly. With a vision, we'd quickly become our master's top students. This master of yours must be pretty incredible, huh? Are they someone famous? Famous? He's the founder of the Ling Shan clan, and his skills are unparalleled. Liang and I are both proud disciples of his. Uh, the Ling Shan clan? You probably wouldn't have heard of it. It was founded quite recently. Oh! The clan is nowhere near as famous as the master himself, anyway. He's got to be a grand master or something. He's created many different styles of kung fu, and countless other clans have borrowed extensively from him. Who the heck is this person? To the Ling Shan clan, he teaches a special technique known as force dispersal. Force dispersal? Force dispersal? I'm on! Come on! It's a type of breathing exercise where you can train yourself to harness the energy around you and neutralize attacks without moving an inch. What? For example, our master can use it to alter the path of an attacking fist or change the direction of an incoming stone, all without breaking a sweat. Okay, then why aren't they here? One time, he sent a challenger flying into the air without lifting a finger. What? Is that really possible? It sure is. But it's extremely difficult to cultivate this ability. We've been training for ages and we're still getting to grips with the very basics. There's no way we could use it proficiently yet. <sighs> we're clearly not that naturally gifted, or we would have at least gotten the gist by now. If we don't start making progress soon, we'll probably run out of money to pay the tuition fees and still have nothing to show for all our training. There's a tuition fee? <laughs> of course. This is a grand master we're talking about here. He doesn't have time to waste. If you want face-to-face -face training, you've got to show you're <laughs> sincere about it. No, oh, it's a scam! <sighs> but here we are, having trained under him directly all this time without even a hint of improvement. Master is getting increasingly impatient with us. Recently, though, we heard that a vision bearer joined the Guhua clan and made pretty much instant progress in their training. So, if we can get our hands on a vision too, maybe we can finally make our master proud. Hmm. There may be other reasons why you can't seem to master this technique. Well, we have to try something new. Otherwise, we're stuck in the same situation. Exactly. It can't hurt to try. And if it turns out it does work, the Ling Shan clan will go down in history. Folks will come from far and wide. Heck, we could even become the dominant martial arts clan in all of Liyue. Oh, well, that's the spirit. See you in the arena. Yeah, see you there. Oh, boy. These guys are in for a rude awakening. That is for sure. Hi, Jin Yu. Hey, 
Are you here for the Crux Clash too? Oh, absolutely. If so, seems I found myself another new adversary. Oh yeah. So you're also here for the tournament? You better believe it. I wouldn't be here if I didn't think I could walk away as a champion. Well, you won't. For me, obtaining a vision is the final and most important piece in the puzzle that is my life. Uh, do you want to become an adventurer? No, no, no. It's not about what I want to do. Oh. This is about who I want to be. I am looking to become a perfect person. Well, your face is not going to look perfect after I'm done with it. I know how that sounds, but let me explain. I've lived a successful life so far without any setbacks. Good. I'll be your first. I've passed every exam I've ever taken, enjoyed numerous successful business <laughs> ventures, and seem to get on with just about everyone socially. Except us. In most people's eyes, I am already the very <laughs> embodiment of the perfect person. Though, oh. of course, <laughs> I'd never let the praise get to my head. But right, right, right. Perfection yet. We wouldn't because want that. There's one thing I'm still missing. What's that? A vision. Oh, right, right. You have so much self confidence. Hmm, are you a renowned fighter? That's not important. I have mm. a contact in the Crux fleet who was happy to vouch for me. So they very kindly made special arrangements on my behalf. I've also brought along a bit of an entourage. For moral support, it's such a blessing. Really, <laughs> you brought to grandpa. Have so many good friends in my neighborhood. <laughs> of course, I also put in a few good days' practice, concentrating mostly on rare and esoteric styles of conflict. <laughs> As a high achiever by nature, I'm confident I've done enough to guarantee my victory in this tournament. Yeah, I'm sure you have. <laughs> I seem to have gained another fan. Oh, yeah. Don't let my aura overwhelm you, though. You'll mm -hmm. need your wits about you today. Oh, yeah, you're right. I can't wait to lose to you. Now then, if you don't mind, I need to finish my pre-competition routine. It's not too long now before you'll get to see me in action. <laughs> I mean, is there any, like, actual fighters here, or...? Yep. And another guy who's just really average. Yeah, yep, that's mm. about it. Seems like you've got a pretty good chance of winning this thing. Yeah, without even breaking a sweat. Let's go sign up. Okay, let's go. Let's sign up. Chinks a village arm wrestling champion, huh? <laughs> Alright, you're signed up. <laughs> They're just taking anybody. <laughs> Next, please. What's your name? Uh, you might actually know who I am. I'm KB. Wait, uh, aren't you? Yep, I am. <gasps> Did I hear that right? Yep. Is it really them? Yep. Uh, huh? Aren't they a vision bearer, though? Why are they trying to enter the clash? Uh, I, I have to ask. Aren't you the traveler that helped Liyue fight off that ancient god? That is correct. Oh, uh, it's really him! The one that spoke with Lady Kuching at the Rite of Parting. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I wonder if I can get his autograph later. Yep, sure, you can. I trust you are aware that uh, only those without visions can enter the tournament? I don't have a vision. Really? But, but from what I've heard, the things you're capable of in combat are nothing short of extraordinary. You walk into the most dangerous situations imaginable, face off against all sorts of monsters, uh, even the Fatui, and always come out on top. That's right. Yeah, he still doesn't have a vision, though. See for yourself. Uh, my apologies. I didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> I'm sure a great hero like yourself would have no reason to lie. Now, could I ask you to provide a few claims to fame? Yes, you may. Uh, it's just a formality for you, of course, but I have to make a record of competitors' achievements as part of the sign-up process. Yep. Well, I mean, we're going to be here for a few hours, but uh, let's see. Where do I start? So far, I've got defeated the ancient god Osail, so that's yep. one. Do you have any others? Oh, uh, yeah. I actually saved the Valen. Yeah, put that down. And also defeated the Fatui Harbinger child. <laughs> oh, yeah, Pamon, that's right. Yep, I'll put that one down as well. Whoa. Might as well declare him the champion already. That's right, baby. I wonder if it's too late to withdraw. 
Okay, um, that's plenty. <laughs> Actually, this is the most dazzling track record I've ever seen. <sighs> By a long shot. <laughs> Right, your registration is complete. Now, a brief word about the prize. A great hero such as yourself can surely only be here for one thing. To win the tournament and claim the grand prize. Namely, a vision. Um, no, we're not here for that, actually. Oh, we're not here for that. We're here because Captain Beto promised to take us to Inazuma if we win the tournament. There's another prize, too? Oh, first I've heard of it. <laughs> Beto must have upped the stakes this time to attract top talent. But why would anyone want to go somewhere as dangerous as Inazuma? What is going on in Inazuma? Everybody is so afraid of that place. I see. So, I take it you discussed your terms with Beto in advance then? Everyone's misunderstanding the situation. I'm just not that interested in visions, that's all. Well, I'm sure a great hero has an important reason for being here. Anyway, the qualifying rounds are about to begin. I'll leave you to your preparation. Thanks. I just got to stretch. Hey, so Paimon's thinking about that whole no vision bearers rule in this tournament. Even though you don't have a vision, most people in Tevat think that you can't manipulate the elements without one. So Paimon thinks you probably shouldn't use your elemental abilities during the mm. tournament. You know, just to avoid any misunderstandings. Okay, yeah, I can do that. In any case, looking at the competition, it should still be pretty easy for you to win, even without using any elements, right? Oh, absolutely. All right, it's showtime. You got this. Oh, yeah. You seem like you're raring to go. Are you ready to compete? Yes, I'm ready. Good. Then please follow me into the arena. Let's go. Oh. Our next competitor is Here seen we by go. many as the favorite to win this tournament. His first bout begins now. Come on, buddy boy. You're the hero they're talking about? Yeah. How am I supposed to win now? Come on. What are you waiting for? What a strange guy. Why was he so confident to begin with? Well, well he was almost what? perfect. Let's go and see Beto. She'll probably have something to say to us. Wait, that was it? Oh, I thought there was going to be more. I may know. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't regret introducing you as the favorite. <laughs> so, what do you think, Kazuha? He totally dominated that guy and did it with style, too. It was so easy. It's like I beat him up while he was sleeping. Are you kidding? Impressive. But I also observed our favorite exercise some restraint, as if to protect the opponent from serious harm. <laughs> well... I've fought my fair share of battles, both big and small. And I say, after the show he put on just now, he's more than convinced me of his ability. I barely did anything. So come on. We all know you've got a wide vocabulary in there. Can't you spare a word or two to congratulate our up-and-coming champion? All right. Let me think how to aptly phrase these words of praise. You fought well. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thanks, Kazuha. <laughs> yeah, all right, then. <laughs> I was thinking your inner poet might want to join in the fun, but I guess I shouldn't put you on the spot like that. You know, a lot of competitors came to me saying how surprised they were that Liyue's hero was entering the tournament. And since you signed up, we've had many others do the same, with more than a few top-tier fighters among them. I'm sure lots of them are here to find out how they stack up against you. Hmm, didn't know I was so popular. <laughs> well, since everyone sees you as the one to beat, I figure I should start treating you that way too. For one thing, we don't want you wasting all your energy in the early rounds fighting people who are well below your level. Not to mention, you must be itching to fight someone in your league too, right? Yeah, I guess so. So, I'm putting you straight through to the semifinals. Oh, baby. Huh? But we only just started the qualifiers. Seems like 
like a crazy system <laughs> if we just skip straight to the semifinals. Hey, it works for us. This is how Captain Beto works. You won't persuade her otherwise. Yeah, she makes her own rules. Besides, at your level, you would have made it to the semifinals anyway. <laughs> to be fair, I was thinking <laughs> that too. All right, I'm gonna watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. Oh, well, let's see who it is. Right here, folks, the real show is about to begin. Who is our opponent? <laughs> the captain seems to have high hopes for this tournament. I have not seen her so excited in quite some time. Your opponent has fought many rounds to get to the semifinals. Who is it? This makes him a seasoned warrior. You may well be stronger than him, but this should not give you cause to lower your guard. I haven't forgotten why I'm here. Very well. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. All right, that's enough chit chat for now. The audience is waiting. Go find the crew member that signed you up. She'll take you into the arena. Your opponent in the semifinals is new to the Crux Clash, but he has quickly become the dark horse of the tournament. I do not doubt your abilities, but I would suggest that you make sure you are fully prepared before you begin. I am. Relax, my guy's at the <laughs> top of his game. He ain't gonna lose. Ah, uh, interesting. Getting a few butterflies over here. Don't worry. Take some time to compose yourself. <laughs> oh boy. The moment we've all been waiting for. The semifinals have begun. Who's it gonna be this time? Oh! The or the dark horse? I don't care about the prize. You're a strong opponent. That's Thank you! I appreciate that! Easy breezy. Ha! Get out of here, baby. I'm the champion. Congratulations. Thanks. I was beaten by the best. I need to train harder. I definitely believe you have the potential to be a champion. Right. For a moment there, Pino was a little worried. <laughs> nice. If you had a vision, you'd definitely be one of the strongest around. I wanted a division once, when I was a kid. People said that if you're strong enough, you'll have your chance to get one. But mine never came. Well, I mean, we can make a deal. How about you are declared champion? Because I'm not going to fight in this Crux Clash again. So you can be the champion, get the vision, and everyone wins. I lost interest eventually. You can't depend on a vision like you can your own body. I've fought and won against vision bearers before. The power they have was given to them by the gods. I don't envy it. Huh? You mean you didn't sign up to try and get your hands on that masterless vision? No, I didn't. Oh! I only wanted to pit myself against other fighters and see who was the strongest. Okay. Only in defeat can you understand your weaknesses and learn from them. So I'm pleased with today's outcome. I don't often have the pleasure of experiencing defeat. Well, I'm glad that I could hand that to you. Wow, now that's true strength talking. If you have the chance in the future, please come and spar with me again. I will be stronger next time. So will I. made it into the finals is it gonna be someone even tougher than you whether they'll be as tough as me i don't know but what i have heard is that they're extremely quick oh boy so don't get too cocky too late uh oh there he goes maybe we should ask around see what we can find out about our opponent in the final round paimon thinks we might need to up our game a little 
What do you want to do, Paimon? That's you. <laughs> I watched your match. What a stunning performance. Oh, thank you. I myself was eliminated in the third round. <laughs> Shame. If only I could have advanced one more round. Uh, maybe next time, huh? Uh, by the way, do you happen to know who else advanced to the final round? Why, yes. He's the same one who defeated me. He is a formidable opponent, quick on his feet and swift to take advantage of his opponent's missteps. I faltered for but a brief moment, but before I knew it, he had me on the floor. Given my stature, I have no fear of squaring off with physically strong opponents, but faced with a nimble, agile opponent such as him, I found myself completely out of my league. Still, I'm sure he'll be no match for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so either. It's probably just a regular guy, right? It's not gonna be an actual, like, character. Hey there! Uh, well, where did the other guy go? He tried to use force dispersal to deflect a punch, but instead he took it straight to the nose. <laughs> nice! The the place. <laughs> His opponent was pretty freaked <laughs> out by it. He kept asking him, why didn't you dodge? But he was pretty much out cold by that point and couldn't reply. Oh my god! Why don't you dodge, they asked. I wish I because saw that! dodge is the very essence of Ling Shun Clan Kung Fu. It's just that he hadn't quite mastered it yet. <laughs> so, how did your match go? Don't even get me started. I spent all my energy helping him get from here to the boat to take him back to the harbor. But by the time I got back, my scheduled match time had already passed and I had to forfeit. <laughs> I don't dare tell my master about this. Otherwise, I'd never hear the end of it. You might want to find a new master. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining in front of you like this. I'm afraid I'm still a bit out of sorts at the moment. So I probably won't be able to help you with whatever you were here to ask me about. Oh, all right then. Hope your buddy makes a swift recovery. <laughs> Hang in there. Hang in there, buddy. Thanks. I'll do my best. <laughs> <sighs> we still haven't got any useful information. No, we just know that they're fast. Maybe we can go talk to Beto. Surely she's got to know something. You gave an outstanding performance. Truly commendable. I could sense that you're not familiar with bouts of this kind. And it could have cost you the match. Thanks. But you were quick to adapt and managed to claim victory over your opponent. That is a most invaluable skill. You are very observant. In fact, I discerned this not from what I saw, but what I heard. The ground beneath your feet and the pattern of your breathing. But it is nothing remarkable, for I discerned nothing more than Captain Beto did. <laughs> He's right. But in my case, I was purely relying on previous experience. <laughs> I guess not using your elemental powers must be quite new for you, huh? Yeah, it sure is. We wanted to ask about who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think they'll be stronger than the one we faced in the semifinals? Not exactly. Contenders that reach the finals aren't necessarily stronger. They tend to have something unique about their style. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed, and he has superior form. It's also obvious that he's seen his fair share of battles. What's the matter? Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? Yeah, a little bit. But it's vital that we make it to Inazuma. If that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. Let's go somewhere a little quieter, shall we? Okay. I haven't properly introduced myself yet. In the land of Inazuma, I was a wandering samurai. Uh, yeah, we could tell that from your getup. <laughs> but at the same time, when you talk, you don't really sound like someone who's used to waving a sword around. It is true that I am versed both in literary and martial traditions. But on the straggling path of a wandering samurai, is there harm in acquiring a surplus skill? No, not at all. I do not mean to flaunt my martial prowess. But I myself have witnessed reputable fighters hailing from across the lands. I do possess some knowledge regarding your opponent's particular skill set. Given your talents, a few hints from me will be all that's necessary to bring your opponent down. Okay. Hang on. Oh. Don't you think you're bending the rules a bit there? Uh, maybe. Gathering intelligence is an essential part of any duel. You must know your enemy. 
Besides, our favorite here has fought many battles on their journey from Mondstadt. Such impressive feats require more than just bravery alone. You betcha! Huh? Wait a second. We never told you that we've been to Mondstadt. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Does one not leave a trail when traveling through the wild? In return, nature also leaves its traces upon you. However, there is only so much that can be discerned from these traces. I sense that many things about you elude me still. These are the things I am curious to know about. Come with me. Some post-match entertainment is in order. Okay. Oh, no! Why did he have to leave so far away? Dang it! Kazuha! Get back here! I mean, do we really have to do all of this in order to figure out who we are fighting? I'm sure it's going to be an easy fight. No stress. Yeah, here we are. We are stressing about it. Kazuha! Oh, there you are. Maybe this isn't actually about the fighter, but about something else. Maybe this is about Inazuma. Now that we're alone, let me cut to the heart of the matter. You are skilled in manipulating the elements. And not just a single element, but multiple. Is that correct? So you already know. Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met. You've known all along. That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. Yeah, but I haven't used it. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. Yeah, but how did you know? <laughs> when I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. As crazy as all that sounds, somehow Paimon still believes you. <laughs> I do like Kazuha. My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision. And not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. Hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell! It's weird! <laughs> could you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain your combined elemental abilities? All I did was touch at the Statue of the Seven. Hmm. Extraordinary. What does that mean? So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? It's all thanks to Paimon's companionship. Aw, it's nothing really. <laughs> Paimon just told him whatever came to mind. Hmm. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened along yes, the way. Yes, it really so has. He just naturally learned to use the elements to it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Ah, fair enough. Now then, let's test your skills, shall we? What does that mean? Are we gonna fight? Beat the monsters? Oh, okay, okay. Fourth, my play. From whence you came. Animal test 6308. Stay clear. Shake it after. Can't handle you. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. And that is that. Are you impressed? I feel like you should be. Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Oh, good. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. Like, who is this guy? He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. I'm, I'm actually kind of getting a little worried. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Thank you. I will not underestimate him. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, <laughs> but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods. And what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions. Right, right. My apologies. You must be completely in the dark. Like, what do the gods matters. get out of it? For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. I am indeed in the dark, so please enlighten me. So that's what you're curious about? <laughs> <laughs> then allow me to tell you more. Yeah, please. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably. Sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. Wow. That is crazy. So they are literally taking away people's visions. And if they don't allow the visions to be taken, they kill them. In the outset, supposing each of the seven archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria or even the act in and of itself? Not to mention, with no new electrovisions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. Hmm. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. Yeah, I agree with that. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Yeah. Oh? Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? Uh, it was already a long time ago now. With time. We will change, but the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! <laughs> if you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. All right, let's go together. Very well, let's go. I wish to see who will obtain the vision. Wow, so that's crazy. They're literally taking people's visions away. <sighs> Why isn't he here yet? Never mind. We can start by making your entrance first. Everyone, listen up. Your attention, please. Come on, listen up. We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash. This is the final match. We've seen many exciting battles today, and now at long last, the two finalists have emerged. Now, I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen him, his reputation knows no bounds. 
He strikes fear into the heart of Osile, and the mere mention of his name causes even the Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Oh yeah, Introducing baby. Introducing traveling hero. Hey, let's go. Thank you, Beto. Wow. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. Oh yeah, baby. I'm sure this is the main this event. Thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. As for our other combatant, uh, he still hasn't arrived. Oh, come on, what could be taking him so long? You can't just forfeit for not showing up like in previous rounds. <laughs> this is the finals. Apologies, everyone just sit tight. Uh, maybe they're too intimidated to show up for the finals? We've got no other choice. If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to post whoa, the whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Wait a moment. Something doesn't seem right about this. Uh-oh. Captain Beto, perhaps we should check on the prize. <gasps> Traveler, come with us. Oh, they stole it! They knew that they weren't going to beat me. Let me see. They took it. That's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Huh? Wow. Who would dare do such a thing in broad daylight? We don't know when it was taken exactly. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Hmm. The culprit has only acted recently. They will not have gotten far. All right, let's go and get the vision back, shall we? The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility to look after it. I will be certain to get it back. Oh, yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll leave the matter to you then. I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to see the match. If you would, please come with me. All right. Seems there's nothing else we could do. Um, but we're on an island. Where could he have possibly run to? Good point. Come with me. I can sense the winds are coming. Ooh. Uh. Where? This way? Yep. Okay. Huh? A wind current? The winds have come at an opportune moment. Let's seize this chance. Ride the winds upward. From oh, we can okay, continue okay. our search for clues. All right. You heard him. By the way, what made you suddenly think of checking the prize in the first place? I don't think that this is the... The moment it was stolen. Well, then why didn't you stop him? You'll <laughs> see. All right, let's take him down. Now that we really don't have a choice. Actually, let's just do this. Night, buddy. Actually, do you happen to have a chest? Okay, you did. Good. Good. You did have a chest. Unexpected, but welcome. Wait, where? Okay, over here. There's the clues. Oh my gosh! Look at you, Boozell! Diona! Jeez! Okay, now we can continue. The winds are guiding us forward. The culprit is on the opposite shore now. You can hear that. How are they getting way over there, though? 
hubris. This way, follow me. There may be an ambush waiting for us up ahead, but okay. I trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Cloud alike. Continue in pursuit. Where? Porters, they're here. Oh, Get here them. they are. Here they are. Just as I expected. We should have known. In which case, please stand back. Please stand back. Midnight. From whence you came. Please stand back. I don't see you fighting them. Here it comes. The wrong subject. Okay, we got it. We got to go where the wind is taking us. I feel the wind. I feel the wind beneath me. I see you, buddy boy. You caught up with me? How is that possible? I'm quick. I had even prepared a boat to ensure a quick getaway, and still <laughs> you caught up to me. No boat could ever match the speed of the wind. The wind? What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. Your vision. Yep. Drat! If I only had a vision. Or if I could activate this one. Then you'd never be able to catch me. This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd, but it seems you know precious little about how to conceal yourself from nature's gaze. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons <laughs> that are too numerous to go into. And on top of that, I could hear your boasting and proud laughter in the wind as I was pursuing you. <laughs> in other words... You failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist. Namely, speed, stealth, and style. You... You... But most disappointing of all is the state of the vision in your hand. It appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine! Fine! I admit it. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. I decided to register after hearing that this fighting contest was full of a bunch of lousy fighters. I fought my way to the finals and... You saw that I was in the finals as well. Aha! So you were supposed to be our opponent! I'd intended to win the contest through skill alone all along, but then you showed up. <laughs> after watching the semifinals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. But I wasn't about to give up on the vision so easily after coming all this way. Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match, I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's attention was on you and Beto. I was convinced I prepared thoroughly for my escape, but somehow you still managed to catch up to me. Hand over the vision. After all I went through to get it? I think not. There'll be consequences if you resist any further. <laughs> I know an empty threat when I hear one. What? If you give up the vision, we'll let you go. Fine. But you'd better mean it. It didn't activate once I took it anyway. It's nothing but a useless shell to me. You know, according to the laws of the sea, the penalty for stealing is breaking the culprit's arms. <laughs> oh, dang. Huh? You're not serious, are you? Oh, oh, God, please don't. Not to mention that the item you stole was a prize. You didn't show up for the final match, and you damaged the reputation of the captain of the Crux fleet. It seems that it would be only fair to brand the word thief on your forehead with a hot iron. Jeez! Whoa, whoa, we don't need to go that far, do we? Yeah, please, no! <sighs> I never would have guessed you could be so cruel. If this is where talking gets me, then forget it. I'll risk a fight. Uh oh. Animal test 6308. Absorption test. Think you can bully me? Play on our special. They just throw everything. Attempt swirl. Mark you. Swift and merciful. I am so sorry. I'll have my revenge eventually. What was up with his voice there? No, no. Do what you want, but please, don't brand my forehead, please! <sighs> he has persevered to the bitter end, and now death looms near. Yet still the gods do not bestow their favor upon him. 
Put down the vision and leave. I've changed my mind. No further punishment for you. Oh, good. Uh huh? What's wrong? Are you asking for more punishment? It's up to you. Such willingness is commendable and fits the way of the samurai. No, no, no need for that. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me. He's like, you truly are generous. He's like, please don't break my arms and brand my forehead. Probably not. I take no pleasure in frightening others. I was just testing all possibilities while the vision remained in his hands. Okay. When people are forced into a corner, that is when their greatest strength will appear. I thought it may be an opportunity for him to awaken the vision. But unfortunately, nothing happened. So you were planning this all along? Yes. I wanted to know whether it were possible for an extinguished vision to be reawakened. From the moment he stole the vision, I decided to use him for this experiment. I've tried many other methods in the past, though few tales tell of a masterless vision reawakening. Hey, maybe one day though. After seeing you command multiple elements, I figured that nothing is impossible. Come. Why don't you give it a try? Let's see if you can give me the answer I'm hoping for. I mean, I'll try. Huh. The vision didn't seem to respond at all. I see. So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. Mm. No matter. This was expected. I suppose this vision is still mine to take for now. Why are you so attached to this vision? This vision anyway the story begins with an old friend uh oh is this gonna be sad <laughs> oh no these are always sad one day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard the musono hitotachi i told uh, him uh i love these so much divine punishment is administered it is the pinnacle of the bride and shogun's skill oh. of ultimate power but he replied, there must be one who can withstand it. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Then the vision hunt decree arrived. People's aspirations were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun began to construct her ideal of eternity. Oh man, that's gonna be a While crazy fight. From place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the vision hunters to a duel before the Oh film. no. A solemn yet brutal challenge. Oh the no. Defeated face divine punishment while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Coming face to face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired after all. Arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. Oh no! In his last moments. Aww. What expression was on his face? Oh my God! This game is so sad. I, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, oh my God! Cold statue of a god. Wow. Perhaps one day. I may come to find that all I have done is meaningless. Oh, so it, it's like the final piece of his friend that he just doesn't, he doesn't want that part to let, to be gone completely. That is so sad. But as a wandering samurai, I find meaning in traveling and the sprawling beauty of nature that lies along the way while still retaining the warrior way in my heart. Man. So the Raiden Shogun is going to be the first Archon boss that we're going to face off against. That will be interesting. Kazuha. <laughs> it's just another way of saying I do as I please. All right, then. It's time we returned. If you need to talk more, I'm here to listen. Do not let my feelings trouble you. 
Yeah, but it's so sad. But thank you. <laughs> oh, this game has a way. Oh my. As soon as you see the, like that art style and the storytelling begin, you know, you know you are in for an emotional ride. Oh man. That is so sad. His friend was trying to take a stand and in the end lost his life. Well, we found him. Huh? Did Beta leave already? Maybe she went back to her ship. If you're looking for the captain, she was summoned by Lady Ningguang. Oh, no, interesting. It seems that the crux clash got out of hand this time and has attracted her attention. Captain Beta was muttering something about Ningguang being a stick in the mud as she headed <laughs> off to Liyue Harbor. <laughs> it's not unusual for those two to be at odds with one another. But still, Captain Beto was disappointed she didn't get to witness the crowning of the new champion. She had been looking forward to it for quite some time. The one who stole the vision was originally to be this hero's opponent in the final round. He knew he stood no chance of winning the match, thus the wicked idea of stealing the prize took hold in his mind. In which case, the crux clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. <laughs> Say that ten times fast! The crux clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. <laughs> So that's what happened? Uh, yep. You know it. If that's the case, then the rules stipulate that he is disqualified. And our hero here is the champion. Yay! Paimon thought we'd win and all, but not like this. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't matter. As the saying goes, honor given is honor deserved. Now, let me go prepare the champion's medal to award you. Yay! I'm so excited! So, will we be able to travel to Inazuma now? Yes. I believe so. Oh, good. Though Captain Beto is no longer present here, I'll be sure she receives word of it. She is a woman of her word. Thank you. But the voyage to Inazuma is a treacherous one. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. What the heck does that mean? In fact, the relentless rain and wind are also an embodiment of the Raiden Shogun's will to close the nation. Hold on a second. You're saying she can change the weather just with the power of her mind? Let us not forget that this is one of the seven Archons. If Liyue's Morax could form Guyun's stone forest by casting down his stone spears, then it should come as no great surprise that the Raiden Shogun is capable of summoning an eternal tempest. Suffice it to say that if you wish to journey to Inazuma, the Alcor will need some time. You will be notified once all the preparations have been made. All right, cool. In the meantime, I intend to embark on a journey of my own. I will travel all across the vast lands of Liyue in the hope of finding a way to reawaken the vision. I wish you luck on your journey. Paimon believes you'll find a way for sure. Thank you. May both our journeys prove meaningful. I hope. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm may well prove to be the most arduous. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, that is kind of scary. Oh, baby. But you heard it. We are setting sail. I am very excited about that. We are getting so close to reaching Inazuma. It is almost here. What a day. It was a lot of fun, you know, joining a fight club tournament that unfortunately didn't end the way we all were, were hoping, but I still became the champion. It was a fun one for sure, but we are getting closer to Inazuma. I don't know how much longer it is going to take for us to get there, but I can feel us getting closer and closer and closer. But I appreciate all of the love and support. That is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!